Hey guys, and welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, King of Do, and uh, I had a request to uh, kind of do a quick overview for anyone that's new to Steemit. A lot of you have been uh, creating accounts on there and have some questions. Some of you have even invested in it and want to know how to leverage your investments, so I'm going to go over that. Um, this is actually directly in response to uh, Alan Bell, um, who basically is asking what he should do with his Steam since he looks like he may have invested some. So I'm gonna kinda of walk you through um, what it looks like on my end and you can know what to do. Um, I'm gonna to try to pump this out really, really quickly. So try to keep up. Um, I have a kickball game to get to here in a little while. So uh, yeah, professional kickball guys, that's, that's me. Okay, so here we are, um, we got Steam It. And so with, what I'm gonna show you first is the back end, uh, which is essentially your wallet. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you'll come into your wallet um, and this is where you can actually send your Steam. So if you've purchased on an, a, uh, on an exchange, what you're going to do is you're going to click Permissions right here. And uh, I'm not going to click it because it shows a bunch of information like personal keys and things that I just don't want out there. But you click on that, and at the bottom there's a permission. Um, and you need to click a button called Show. So it kind of like masks it. You click Show, and um, you can see it. That is where you send your Steam it. Um, and if you're sending it from an exchange, you will need to also put your username in as base. Some, some exchanges label it as like memo, but that's actually your username. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there on how to actually send your steam it to your account, but I hope that makes sense on how you actually would send your steam it, um, here to your wallet that exists on the blockchain. So really what I'm doing is. Uh, the screen I'm looking at here is actually an interface that's communicating with the blockchain. Uh, this is not um, like here right in front of me right now physically. Um, I'm communicating with the blockchain here. So um, now once your money shows up there, it's going to show up uh, right here under Steam. So um, it looks like I got some rewards to redeem right now. Uh, thank you guys for upvoting my videos. Um, it means a lot. This this is some of the rewards I've gotten. So this is a uh, you know 2.1 Steam power, and then I've got a, just under two dollars of Steam dollars. Um, so you can do the math on that to say that that's probably what is that five or six bucks? I don't know right now because the price is always changing. But I'm gonna click redeem, and uh, you can see the transaction happens down here. I've now claimed my rewards off uh, officially. Um, I now have some Steam dollars sitting here. Um, but my Steam power automatically powered up my account. So now I have more Steam. Pretty cool, right? Um, and that, that I got from things like posting uh, content, posting my videos on there. Um, sometimes I just ask good questions and people want to know the same questions I'm asking. And so I get upvotes for that. Um, I comment. Um, I, uh, I curate as well. I actually upvote other people's uh, posts and I, and I get rewarded for that, um, for investing my time um, and bringing good quality content to the platform. Um, anyhow, so your Steam power is different than Steam. Um, Steam has not been powered up yet. When you power up, essentially you're, you're, you're vesting, you're investing, you're saying, I'm gonna put this money into this system, it's going to stay there. Um, and what's cool about it is you actually will get uh, rewarded for that. So if you have a large amount, you'll see it, you'll stick it in there, and I you can actually hit refresh and see the number change. Um, uh, so this number right here, this this number will actually go up very very slowly, uh, maybe quickly if you have a lot of steam, um, just for being powered up for for really no reason. Uh, it's kind of like your interest. So. It collects better money than the money I have in my own personal bank. No joke. Better than my savings, better than my checking. I would rather have my money in here right now. Um, and I've seriously considered putting a lot more in here. There is the risk of the of the market going up and down. Um, it's for you to decide if Steemit is going to go up and value down and value. And you assess, your, you, um, assess your risk uh, to your personal style on that. So if you're bullish... Um, to the moon. If you truly are to the moon, you'd put all your money that you own in here <laughs> um, every day. Um, okay. Steam dollars. Steam dollars are kind of weird. The The concept originally was that it's supposed to be like pegged to the dollar. 
Um, demand has been too high, so that's not true now. So essentially, it says I have 195 essentially in Steam dollars. Um, but watch what happens right now, because right now the market is off. I'm actually going to go to a market. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just go ahead and purchase some, uh, some Steam here. Um, and I'm going to use my full available amount. Auto loads it. Now look, it says I have 1.95 Steam dollars. That actually comes out to 3.026 Steam. Um, so essentially I'm getting more Steam than I would have uh, in, in a way. Um, if I had chosen my rewards to be 100% Steam. Um, and I'll go over that a little bit later here. But I click OK. Throw in my password, my key. And the transaction executes. Now if I come back to my wallet. Sorry. Go back to my wallet. You'll see I have more Steam. Look at that. Instantly. So they have their own marketplace. Um, and that's pretty cool. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to power it up. Again, when I click this, I'm going to power up. It's going to ask me how much. I click here, auto fills it in, and I click power up. When this happens, I'm essentially vesting it. I'm, I'm committing it to steam power. It is not easily accessible. Um, it kind of gets locked up a little bit. So I do that. Um, that. And there we go. So now you can see I have more steam power. Pretty cool, right? Okay. So, um, the more steam you have, the more you'll earn over time. This also is a big influencer into how much you can earn on the platform. The more you have, the more you can earn. Um, because you're vested more, you get more. Um, it's also how much I can reward people. When I first started, I would upvote and nothing would happen. Like, no one got anything. Maybe a penny sometimes. Um, now, um, I've done some upvotes for people on, on popular posts where I've gotten $3.50. I've given that to someone, um, which is really, really cool. Um... I have enough power now that even if something has zero votes, I, I give about a penny. Um, so I have enough power to literally, I get to choose who to throw pennies at all day at a minimum. That's actually the minimum that I can give now. So, um, and then it gives you your estimated account value, which is garbage because uh, it's never accurate. I, I don't know where they get this number from for your estimate. Um, it's always way off compared to the markets. But um, at the end of the day, this is how it works. Um... Now, if I click this power down button, you, you essentially choose to start getting payments. It starts slowly dumping the uh, steam out of my account. And um, that's how you get it back to steam. So that's very important. You must understand that in a moment's notice, you will not be able to get rid of it all. So if you need access to it, if you need it to be liquidable, it's not for you. It, I, I, would, I would basically say this, guys. If you literally aren't serious about contributing to the community, it's not worth it to power up. Just don't do it. Um, you're not going to really get your return on an investment or your time. Uh, me, I have. I've seen significant increases in the amount uh, that I'm getting from my videos uh, since I've been putting more into it. I'm also earning more. I have a lot on the way even right now, so um, it's pretty cool. Sorry, my dog's making weird noises. Um, had to check on him. Okay, let's talk about the tools I use when I'm when I'm on Steam it because I think that's important. If I come up here, um, I have this Steam distribution. Um, so if you go to steamd.com slash distribution, here you can actually look at membership levels and activity, which is really, really interesting. It talks about the percentage stake that you have. So if you have nothing invested, you get no stake. You're not going to you're not going to actually get net anything back. And here you can actually see after you have five dollars worth, um, this is what your stake would be. And so the more 
um, that you power up, the more that you have in there, uh, the more you're going to get back over time. Plus, you're simply going to get better rewards. It's just it's a compounding effect. Now, it's kind of it feels like a scam to say this, so I apologize, and I still have really weird feelings about it. But the rich kind of get richer on this platform. They get more. They get more inflation rewards. They they um they can curate themselves that's one thing is i actually can upvote my own videos give myself a reward um it actually ends up over time becoming something where the rich just get richer and richer and richer on the platform and the gap continues to increase so um there are people that are working on solutions that are concerned about it they're actually doing a hard fork soon to make rewards more linear because the people at the top are basically getting all the money and they rec they recognize that and so they're doing the right thing in order to try to um, reward everyone along the way i'm excited about it because i'm kind of like down here on the linear level and it's like um, i actually will see an increase um, in rewards i will be rewarded more um and that's cool um and i think that it being linear is a, a little more fair um, that's only my opinion. So that's one tool I use to identify where I'm at um, in the chain of command. Now this is called steamviz.com and this gives you an estimated pending payout. So I can actually check my account and it ch checks the blockchain and it literally tells me right here I actually have 12 total payouts coming for a total of about 52.49 so gosh that might be $75 worth of steam right now right? awesome um i'm averaging about 437 a post which is crazy because uh, sometimes i post you know just a question uh in fact uh one of my best posts ever <laughs> was a question so um that's what's awesome about this platform guys if you ask good questions if you contribute in a good way you get rewarded so it is for everyone just like reddit's for everyone um and then down here below we you know it's my comments so here's some comments that people have upvoted and I've got a little bit on the way, so um, pretty neat, right? But what's cool is, you know, the reason I'm not afraid to show you this is because you can actually go look up anyone. So a lot of you guys know uh, Crypto, right? Um, you know he uses this a lot. So we can go look up Crypto's account. And he has 242 on the way on six payoffs. So he has a lot on the way. And this is really low right now for him because he's been um, traveling and whatnot doing hard work bringing us amazing news and content so um and here you can actually see the posts and you can click on them to go look at them so i really really like uh, steam viz as a tool i also have this this is a uh, steam db again you can look up anyone you want on here um this is my voting power now what's important about voting power is that um i basically have full power um, rewarding power. Sorry, my dog just sneezed. <coughs> he is not. He's not doing okay down there. He is ha hacking something up. Probably ate something he shouldn't. But as long as this is 90% or higher, I'm able to reward at my maximum. So essentially, you know how I was talking about curation. That's basically me going around and upvoting good content, curating the content. Um, my first initial votes per day are are the most powerful right they're the most important ones um you can see that i haven't done any voting today i've been at work um so it's powering up still from yesterday but as i get on steam it um and reward good content that will go down over time that's to limit someone from abusing it right so even if you're a whale and you can reward a lot you're kind of limited to how much you can reward okay um here you can actually look at author rewards and you can look at curation rewards i can look strictly at okay what was my curation rewards um over time um basically what did i net from voting which is pretty crazy to look at like here i actually made uh just under five cents on that one for just clicking upvote um you know i already spent my time enjoying the content and then i get rewarded for it and I reward them for it, so that's a pretty awesome concept, right? Okay, so now we have Steam Stats. This one has a better UI. Here I'm looking at one of the whales on the on the website. 
Um, he doesn't post a lot, but he still has quite a good reputation amount. A lot of people know this guy and follow him just because he's a he's a whale. Um, good guy though. He works really hard um, on trying to uh, keep the community uh, safe and clean. I like this guy. Um, and here I can actually see all the things he's been upvoting. So I can kind of like be like, oh, what's he been looking at lately? That's cool. So if you have a friend on Steam, it you could be like, I wonder what my friend's been upvoting. You know what I mean? Um, and kind of go look and read the same content your friends are reading, which I think is a fascinating concept and should be built into more social media, right? Like, um, I really don't like it when people post stuff on my fa Facebook wall that they think I should read. No, it's like it's more personable if like I can go look at what you've read. It's kind of like going to your friend's house and looking at all the books on the bookshelf when they're not, you know, they're not in the room, right? And you're alone and you're just like, oh wow, these are really interesting books. And maybe you flip through one, you pull one out. That's what this is like, and I like really like that concept a lot. So um, that's what you see here. Um, you can actually go to their accounts and see what's in it. Um, how many steam dollars, uh, how much steam power. This guy right now um, has 1,289,558 steam power. So I don't know what the price is right now around uh, steam right now. I mean, I could go look. But um, just to put that simply, he is a millionaire. No joke. Um, simple as that. So he's got well over a million in net worth on this platform. So I don't blame this guy for uh, curating so well. Um, I don't know if he's able to make a full living off of doing this, but um, I would think that he's, uh, he's doing just okay. He's doing all right. So you guys may hear rumors of people who made millions on Steam. And uh, yes... There are quite a few millionaires out there right now who made a lot of money on Steam. It. We're still early in the game. I don't know if you'll be a millionaire for getting in it now, but you will potentially, as an early adopter, get to ride the early adoption wave. Which means, is it reasonable to see uh, five, ten times your investment? Potentially. But also consider that you're also earning as well. Um, so yeah, okay. That is Steam It. Um, there's more information here about things like witnesses, and that's kind of like people who run the nodes and things like that, and their ability to vote, and I won't get into all those crazy details, but for some of you who are more interested in Steam It, um, on the more technical level and exactly how it works, um, you can actually go and read the white paper. You'll find it over here on the right side in its Steam It white paper. Um, so make sure you go and you check that out um, and read it. It does a very good job of explaining how complex of an eco uh, system this is and the economics that lie underneath it. Um, I know it kind of like sounds all, all too good to be true kind of thing, but when you actually read through the white paper, it makes a lot better sense than I can try to convey to you. So if you are interested in the economy that is Steam It, read that. You'll understand the reason why they, why they uh, create more Steam, where that Steam goes, um, how that Steam um, basically gets locked up. And it's just, it's very, very fascinating to me, and it's something that you should look at. Um, to understand the platform better and you make the decision on if this is a good investment for you. Um, now, for many of you, you might want to invest in it just to make money on the market. That's cool. I'm all for you on that. But um, some of you create content for a living, maybe. No joke. You, if you literally are a content creator at your job and you like, you already have to post on a bunch of sites... You could literally just post on this site and make some money on the side. Straight up. That is not a joke. That's very real. There are people that I see on here do it all the time. All right. So I just kind of wanted to show you real quick what it looks like once you become um, a uh, higher level user. So going back to the steamd.com, um, basically once you become the uh, super user level, you actually unlock the ability to decide how much you upvote something, okay? 
And that's kind of a weird concept, but let me show you what I mean by that. So we're just going to go to the home page here. And um, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're just going to upvote one of these. Um, this one looks good right now. This was re-steamed four hours ago. So since it was four hours ago, um, it's actually um, not a good time for me to get a reward. But me, it's a great time to give one. Um, there's kind of like this perfect timing of when you want to upvote something to maximize your reward. It's kind of like the greedy vote. So I don't really like to talk about it much, but um, but basically it's right at 22 minutes. So there's your little secret, guys, uh, which is basically impossible to ever hit 22 minutes on any content. But um, anything over 30 minutes, probably much, you know, if you're looking to try to get a reward on something that you believe is going to go viral on the site, um, 30 minutes after that is kind of not worth it because... Uh, your votes are kind of important, especially your first few votes, those first 10% that you use. Anyhow, so I'm going to go ahead and upvote this one. You'll see that I'll give him quite a bit here. He's got 22, 29. Let's see what I give him. So I just gave him four cents, which is really good considering it's been four hours. Um, sometimes um, when I wait like a, a few days, um, I can give someone a lot more than that. Um, so right there, I just gave that one four cents. Now, this one here, 38 minutes ago, something about Trump, big surprise. We'll go ahead and um, you can see here I have this slider bar. This is because I'm a super user now. So remember um, remember that when you're new, everything's 100% and you are going to lose that power bar I showed you over here. Let me bring that power bar back up. So this power bar right here is going to go down uh, much faster. You basically get about 40 votes a day um, that's within the 90% range. So, however, I get more than that. I basically can double that. Um, I think 40 is the number. I have to look that up. Maybe it's 20. Don't quote me on that. I don't have it in front of me. But it's in the white paper <laughs> if you do the math. But here I can actually give this one less. So I'm going to give this one 50%. Because uh, I like it, but it's not the best content, but I believe it's good, whatever. Or maybe it's just because, you know, whatever. That one I gave five cents to, right? And part of that is because it's a lot more popular. We got 137 versus this one down here was only 36 votes. Um, it was at 39 minutes, so I gave it quite a big reward. Okay. Um, and so there you go. That's how that works if you're a super user. So in order to do that, you're probably going to put about four, five, six hundred dollars of Steam it in here, at a minimum, just to unlock that feature. Um, I guess what's good about that feature is I can kind of better diversify. If that's a way of thinking about it, if you're trying to get rewards, if you're actually using your votes to try to maximize what your reward would be um, for curating then that's essentially what you would do. You'd set it at like 50% and you'd have, you'd be twice as diversified, um, which is good because typically the way that I've seen it on Steam it so far is that if you can just get in at the right time on a post that truly goes viral, you're good to go. You will, you'll make, you will make a sizable amount and worth your time, I guess. So, um, Overall, though, uh, my experience with curating with the amount I have invested in it is I really it, it really is more about uh, giving back. I try my best to upvote all my comments and uh, from you guys and things like that, um, you know, and support the people who follow me because uh, I really I found that I really don't get that much. Now, what I do get a lot from is when I upvote my own video. Um, the longer I wait to do that, the more I give myself. So just like I upvoted these ones and they've got some money, I can do that for myself. And that's just something to keep in mind if you're a content creator. Don't don't upvote yourself right away. Just wait a while. Okay. I hope that was good. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, this was a direct video response to just, you know, someone brought up the question. And I know you guys have been signing up. So I hope, I hope it helps someone. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um... So that's all I've got today. Um, I will be back later with some do news for you guys, like always, but I got a kickball game first, so be looking out for that later. Um, if you enjoyed this content, make sure you subscribe. Um, 
If there was anything that I may have missed or I made a mistake or you have a question, go ahead and leave it in the comments below or leave the comment on Steam it because I'll be posting there as well. Um, I really appreciate your guys' feedback and it, it helps because, uh, you know, I did this on the fly. I, I sat down and I was like, hey, I got a few minutes before the kickball game. Let me help this guy out and maybe help some other people. So I hope it helped you. Um, with all that being said, uh, give me uh, a like if you like the content. Upvote me on Steam it and uh subscribe if you like this kind of content um i do need to do more of this stuff with you guys i need to be teaching you um how to maximize your investments and where to spend your time and i will say this at the end of the day steamit is an amazing platform because screw the reward making system screw it um the most innovative people in the uh blockchain and cryptocurrency universe are on this platform if you want to connect and talk to people like me more often go here this community is incredible at answering questions about anything that you have any cryptocurrency you're considering investing in um, any blockchain technology that you can't understand um, they will answer it here and this is a great community I've really enjoyed being a part of it and I hope you'll uh, join me if you haven't already so there's a link down below to sign up uh, it just takes a few days to get approved because they actually make sure you're a real human being it's a very careful process they go through um, so there you have it all right guys i am the king of dew may the force be with you and uh, i'll see you soon